Hey friends, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel, Fira, where I talk about cruelty-free beauty, gothic fashion, and more. If you want to join in that conversation, be sure to click the subscribe button down below. So today's video is going to be all about the Smashbox Cosmetics Always On Eyeshadows. I love these things. But before we jump into this video, there's a little bit of um, informational stuff I want to give you. First up, in case you don't know, Smashbox Cosmetics is a 100% cruelty-free beauty brand. They're PETA certified. Many of their product lines are vegan. This line that I'm going to be showing you today is 100% vegan. Smashbox is also part of the Responsible MICA initiative. If you have never heard of the Responsible MICA initiative, let me explain it to you. MICA, which is the material that's used to make like tons and tons of products, like most, most of our eyeshadows, uh, paints for cars, stuff like that, is all mined. And like 60% of the world's MICA comes from India. And some of that stuff comes from child labor, which is very dangerous. So um, Smashbox is part of this responsible MICA initiative, which means that they only buy MICA from approved uh, vendors that promise that they are not doing any sort of child labor. There are several other really large brands that are a part of this responsible MICA initiative, including L'Oreal and like all of the brands under L'Oreal. So that's like Urban Decay, uh, NYX Cosmetics. And then you also have um, some of the Estee Lauder brand, which is where Smashbox is as part of this Responsible Mike initiative. Other companies that take part in this that I know of are CoverGirl, Bare Minerals, and um, Laura Mercier. So these Smashbox cream eyeshadows are $22 each for, um, for 10 milliliters of product or 0.34 fluid ounces. By comparison, the CoverGirl Illuminati lid paints that I reviewed recently are half the price and half the size. So they're five milliliters. If you haven't seen my review of these yet, I'm going to put a link up here for you to go check that out. So in this video, I'm going to show you the swatches I came up with, as well as some comparison swatches that I put together just to make this a little bit more useful for you. So before I jump into the swatches, I want to tell you about my skin tone and my undertone. I have very fair neutral to cool yellow undertone for my skin tone. My best foundation matches are Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation in the shade 0.1. Milk Makeup Flex Foundation in the shade Porcelain, Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation Stick in the shade Angel Food, Juvia's Place Foundation Stick in the shade Tokyo, and NYX Born to Glow in the shade Pale. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of what my skin tone is so that you can sort of judge the depth of these colors against my skin tone. First up, we have Vanilla, which is a cream, and Rose, Warm Mauve. Ochre, a deep yellow. Olive, a golden green. Cerulean, muted light blue. Ultramarine, deep teal blue, and my favorite, I love this one so much. Violet, purple. Grayish, deep gray brown. So now I'm going to show you four shades that you could use as an eyeshadow base if you wanted to. We have the Smashbox Vanilla. Smashbox is $22 for 10 milliliters. CoverGirl Nude Awakening. The CoverGirl is $10.99 for 0.5 milliliters. Smashbox Rose. And my personal favorite, Urban Decay Eden. The Urban Decay is $24 for 10 milliliters. The Urban Decay is a little bit more expensive. CoverGirl is half the price and half the size. And then I wanted to show you a comparison between CoverGirl and Stargazer and Violet. Stargazer is a lighter silvery like shimmery purple whereas violet is a matte and I did layer the two together so you could see what the two look like. I also have a comparison with Smashbox Cerulean and Ultra, Ultramarine and CoverGirl Night Night. And I also did a comparison for you of Smashbox Grage with CoverGirl Cocoa Nuts. So 
So I've done wear tests with these products with eyeshadow primer and without eyeshadow primer. These do not crease on me at all without eyeshadow primer, but they do fade a little bit. When I did a test with one side without primer and one side with primer, the, the side with primer was significantly more vibrant, but both sides lasted without creasing, so I was very impressed by that. As you know, I have oily hooded eyelids and things are often likely to crease or fade on me or just be gone if I don't wear primer at all. So I'm very impressed by the formula of these. Smashbox recommends that you use their Always On Cream eyeshadow either with a brush or with your fingers. And the way that I have found it's easiest to apply these is I'll put like a tiny dot of product on the back of my hand and then I'll take a brush and I'll use that to apply it. And usually um, I'll use my finger to like blend out the edges, but you can also use another brush to blend out the edges. It's really more about like you finding what you're comfortable with. The other thing that's really, really nice about this is that you can blend these together to make your own custom colors. So I'm going to show you by, this is a dot of the ultramarine blue, and I'm going to mix it with some ochre, which is yellow, to make a green. See, I have those dots right here in the back of my hand, and I'm just going to mix them together. And much like paint, you end up with a really, really pretty green. You can do that with all of these shades. They're, it's literally just like playing with art paints from art class. I love that. If you are someone who likes paints for eyeshadows, you should try these out. If you're somebody who likes to mix your own colors, I think you'll have a lot of fun with these. If, like me, you were somebody who was obsessed with the MAC paints back in the day, I think you're going to have fun with these. The only complaint I really have is the shade range. There's no true red in here, which really really shocks me. I'm surprised there's not a true, like I'm surprised that there are not primary colors. I would have expected there to be a primary um, red, a primary blue. Um, the, the ochre is close enough, I guess, to a primary yellow. But um, I was, yeah, I was surprised about that. I was surprised there wasn't a white either. But I really love these. They're a lot of fun to play with. I've done a couple different looks now where I use basically use these to create like my crease shade and then pop a duochrome on and I'm ready to go. So yeah, I love these. They're just another way to play with makeup and I think they are so much fun. So if you're somebody who likes to use cream products, I think that you will really enjoy this. If you don't like cream products, don't try this. If you don't like bold shades, I'm not sure that you'll like this. I did pick up a couple of the more neutral tones, but I definitely feel like if you are somebody who's scared of pigment and color, you might be a little scared of these, but I feel like they just blend out so nicely and they're very pretty and they're so much fun to play with. So yeah, they're just something I'm really excited by and I had to share with you. So what do you think of Smashbox Cosmetics? What do you think of these always on cream eyeshadows? Are these your jam? Would you try these? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. I love you, my friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye.